Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with day two of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 15 where we have 30 exclusive sketches for the month and this one is by Shannon Keith which is Creative Chaos in Tennessee and her information will be below. And I'm going to document this picture, our group picture from our beach trip 2024. And I have gone ahead and cut out some hexagons on my Cricut. Um, I do have some die cuts, but not one big enough for that big, large one. So this is from the Hip Kit Collection. Summer is here. And the paper I use is called Escape. And I thought it was perfect for this picture. I've got some embellishments from the Summer is here as well. Uh, my title is from a Vicki Booten collection, and I have these enamel dots, but I don't end up using those, so. Um, but anyway, I have my papers pre-cut in a white background, 12 by 12 background, and then I have my embellishments, and like I said, I have some dies if I need some more hexagons, and I also have this lovely picture of my fabulous family, and this awesome sketch by Shannon, so... Let's see how this goes. So I did create some black as well as um, as many hexagons as I could cut out of the same 12 by 12 paper. Uh, the Escape from Summer is Here, uh, which is the same paper as that huge one. Uh, so after I cut my um, hexagon out and put it, the picture where I wanted it, I put it down on my page. And then I just take this pencil and you can see where I've traced like a light um hexagon so I have an idea of where I'm working I don't want to put too much underneath where it's going to go because it seems wasteful plus it makes your page more bulky and things so I start by like in this sketch there's some like traced out black um hexagons and I mean like I feel like if I had a stencil I would have probably just used a stencil instead of cutting but I don't um and so I at least not a large 12 by 12 um stencil so of hexagons so I went ahead and just cut them out took one of the black hexagons and used it to trace out with one of my pins and I do like that it makes it very um obviously homemade because they're not perfect there are some places where you know there's little hiccups or it's not as dark or whatever um and then I take some um empty packaging and I start with spun sugar and just um, smush that in that top left corner and then I use some tumbled glass in the bottom right corner and I'm just kind of pushing it into where all those hexagons are not empty. Um, I don't care that they're full or completely filled in. Um, I just wanted to have something in you know most of that space. So I smush that in there and I'm going to use the pinkish colored um, pre-cut hexagons up in that top portion and then use some of like the bluey colored ones down the bottom. So kind of sticking with the same concept of what she has on her sketch where that really pinky purpley color is up in the top and then there's more blues down the bottom. So I'm kind of sticking with that same concept and um, but instead of doing like a bright yellow splatter she's got I went ahead and brought black in because I've matted my picture in black and then I have this handful I think I made four of those little small hexagons. And so I just wanted a pop of black on here. I love the contrast of like rainbows with um, black or with like this one is more of a sunset or a sunrise because we took the picture in the evening so the sun was getting ready to set and it was beautiful. Um, to take this picture, however, was one heck of an entertaining experience. Um, prior to 2000 and well, from 2018 and before my dad was always there and he was our photographer. He had a tripod all the, you know, timed this, tried that. He took our group picture with like fancy camera, you know, all that. So ever since then, we've been taking it with an iPhone, <laughs> um, and just being creative. And so this year was no different, probably the most creative. And I set it up on a chair that had a little table and then my iPad pillow. And then it wouldn't even out. So I tucked my flip flop behind it. I mean, like it was, I should have taken a picture if it weren't for the fact that I was using my camera to, you know, to do it. But um, I should have had a picture of the rig that we set up to get the picture taken and to be at this level. And it's perfect. I love it. We took a few tries and I do have like a funny outtake of me like peeking over trying to get everything set up and making sure it works. So 
So it was an entertaining experience. And if you zoom in, you'll see my sweet little Neff pup in the middle. Uh, he always goes with us to the beach ever since my sister and brother-in-law got him. And of course, that gargantuan, it's in the middle of the picture, is my nephew, who is six foot four. Um, but, you know, we had such a good time. I'm so grateful that we got this group picture. Um, we've been going since 2010 and only missed the two years of the pandemic. So, um, so anyway, now I am building the cluster that they have in the sketch as a big, beautiful floral. And I just pulled a bunch of different embellishments that worked for beach layouts to me. Um, there's quite a few things, obviously, since the collection's called Summer is Here. There's quite a few things that say summer, and this is spring break, so I didn't want to use those. But I've got, like, vacay mode, loving this day, and things like that. Um, and then I pull this one little thing. I had already pulled this little tag that says little, Life's Little Treasures. And our title that says Our Crew. That came from Vicki Booten's Discover and Create. My original plan was to create the layout for this picture with Discover and Create. However, I loved this layout. Um, I found this paper when I was going through trying to, I'm getting, trying to get my kit, hip kit club stuff used up. And so I found this paper and I thought, oh my gosh, this is exact same colors of that sunset in behind our group shot. So I decided to use this paper, um, but that's why I wanted to bring the black in because I knew the title was going to be the R Crew. Um, and then I put those black pops of the hexagons around, plus I matted my picture. So I do love how that turned out. I love the way this layout turned out. It makes me super happy. And um, I finished off with a couple of uh, three different little black hearts that came from this um, hip kit collection as well. And then that is it. Like I, other than, you know, the laying things out, um, it was actually... A pretty simple layout <laughs> so but um here is a close-up of shannon's uh, sketch again like i said she has um her youtube is going to be linked below you should go check her out as well as the playlist for 30 days of sketches um i love doing these and i'm a day behind but i will get caught up i am done at school on the 11th so after that y'all i might just like scrapbook all the time you might get sick of me we'll see um so anyway here is the close-up i really really love the way this turned out and i love this picture see look at my cute little nuff pup isn't he cute Ugh. Anyway, I'm slightly biased and all that. So anyway, if you like my layout and or my video, I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I hope that you all have a fantastic day. And I hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.